I suppose Paris has in the same way with the right and left banks. But in England, there always seems to be one dominant Liverpool and Newcastle and one weak partner like Birkenhead and Gateshead, rather shabby and tatty. There never seems to be the chance for the two to develop together across a river. And the biggest opportunity of all is London. But just imagine what could have happened on the south bank of all the office space that's been put in after the war had been put there, rather as the centre of Pest had become the business centre. Then the two parts would be in balance and the London skyline would have stayed unimpaired. There's still a great opportunity here, though, in London, with the river, with the docks closing, make all sorts of things on the banks and make islands like this, too, man-made ones, this kind of parkland, why not? Now I'm overnight on another train Tomorrow morning, I'll be in the middle of Romania. I said at the beginning, the Orient Express as a train has always ended in Romania. Although the destination has always been Istanbul. I say they went from here by boat. So we followed the actual route and we'll now make a big loop south ourselves by rail. Bucharest coming straight out into this under the station canopy straight away strikes me as much more alive and vibrant and varied than, than Budapest. Budapest feels monolithic. Here, there's all sorts of differences in clothes and faces. You get a real sense of the Balkans here, but you also, oddly enough, get a funny echo of Western Europe. Romania is one of the oddest mixtures in, in the whole of Europe. It's very unexpected and, and very pleasant mixture, this. Like Bucharest sort of sometimes calls itself the Paris of Eastern Europe. You can't see much of it here. This is all rather sort of a Russian feel, very stern and big monolithic blocks. But in towards the center, I think you'll find much more of it. Most Parisian thing you could think of would be a pavement cafe. And here it is, Bucharest. It's an odd feeling to come the whole width of Europe and find the same thing to be started with. You need quite a long look, really, the faces of the people, mostly, to see the difference. Because all the streets around look Parisian as well. A lot of them done in the 1880s, 1890s, in a fussy classical style. Whether they're done by French architects, I don't know. They seem so exact that they must have been some of them. They must have sent down these plans by the bushel from the Orient Express. Influence carried on right through to between the wars. There's a big circular one there that could stand proudly on the edge of any outer Parisian boulevard. And the little streets with villas, very self-important, standing up, fighting fit with all the Renaissance detail, they could come straight from Neuilly. With all that, it also has what Paris has, a very easy city to fit into, a very easy city to, to like easily. You can, you feel you want to use it, you want to wear it to put it on where I felt both 
with Vienna and certainly with Budapest, they were standing on the architectural dignity of it. This isn't. This is a much more natural, relaxed sort of place. And I wish I could stay longer, but tonight, off again on the train. This time, to the place where the Orient Express always did end, one way or another, by rail or sea, at Istanbul. in the very edge of Istanbul, it passed through the suburbs. Here's the city walls of the old city. This is one of the most dramatic approaches to, by rail, to any town in the world. Because on this side, you've got all the monuments of old Istanbul. On that side, you have water. First, the Sea of Marmara. And then you round the Seraglio Point, turn around the Golden Hall, and then into the Istanbul Central Station. In the, in the big industrial centres. Then the mosques come in. First of all, the Blue Mosque, which is the, the masterpiece of late Mohammedan architecture. Then after that, city walls. Behind them somewhere, you can't see it, Hagia Sophia, the great church built for Christendom converted when the Turks recaptured what was then Byzantium, became Constantinople, is now Istanbul. They go round the corner, wall on one side, the sea on the other, Asia across to the other side. So we finally slide last few yards to Sarkeshi Station in Istanbul. The end of what? 1,500 miles of train journey? How many countries? France, Germany, Austria, Hungary, Romania, quickly through Bulgaria, now Turkey. It is the end of the line for buffers at Istanbul station. Been changing trains. We came in on the direct orient, which goes from Paris direct to here by a completely different way through Venice and Yugoslavia. Also been changing engines because, particularly this last stretch from Sofia, is hauled by steam train, which alas they took off 30 miles before Istanbul, because really a steam train is the way to end a journey like this great wheels and pistons visible coming right up to the buffers. <sighs> My impression of the whole journey, well, frankly, I'm so physically shattered at the moment, it's hard to uh, sort them out. Kind of shock therapy right through Europe, this one. From France, Germany, Austria, Hungary, Romania, briefly in Bulgaria, now Turkey. 
when I've sorted myself out, I think I'll have a collection, a kind of kaleidoscope of, of memories of these different countries so strong that it's something you probably couldn't get any other way. If I drifted lazily through them, it would have been different. Just as nice, maybe, but different. Here, it's punch, 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 out of one place into another, into another set of buffers, out again on the train, quick look at the towns. One thing, for the first time in the journey, the sun is really warm here. First time since Paris, actually. It's warm in Paris, it's warm in Istanbul. The rest has been through country which has been tinged with the approach of winter all the time. And that's about all I can say because, sheesh, I'm shattered. I'm going to go for a very long bath and quite a long sleep now. Hey, 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 hey,